how to make a digital planner to sell on Etsy. Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you guys how you can create a digital planner on Canva and sell it on Etsy. So let's jump right in. Now a digital planner usually entails things like a PDF that is built upon hyperlinks. You will see digital planners for a bunch of different things such as meal planners, budget planners, yearly planners, monthly or even weekly planners. You can pick out the type of planner you want to build and you can easily take inspiration from some of the pre-existing planners out there. So you guys can see this is a simple planner with a paycheck budget, with a fillable PDF and a bonus template. This enables people to just balance their paychecks and you can easily build any type of planner using Canva. So I'm going to be building a monthly planner, which is basically just going to have 12 pages for every month and people can set out their goals. So for this, the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to choose the size for my planner. Now in digital planners, they are meant to be used digitally. So either on people's iPads or desktop. Most people use digital planners on iPads. So I recommend going for the A4 size because on the previous versions of iPads, the A4 size fits perfectly. However, the newer models of iPads are slightly wider so they're a bit more wide and that can stretch out your template a little so i do think that you should go for the optimum size which is a4 because even if you do make it slightly wider that would throw off the usage for most people so all you have to do is search for a4 in canva and you are going to actually take the A4 dimensions and you have two options to do this. You can either build this in portrait version or you can even build it in landscape, but you're just going to go for A4 and you're just going to take the measurements of a A4 document. So we can just go ahead and search for A4 document measurements. So we're going to search for A4 size like this. And this is going to be 8.3 and 11.7. And you can just go into Canva. Click on custom size on the top right and then change the units to 8.7 and then 11, yeah, 11.7, 8.3. And then we're just going to click on create new design. You don't want to create a document. You want to create a design in A4. Now it's time to start building your planner. So I want to build a planner, which is going to kind of be like a book. So this is going to be a editable PDF book. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a theme. I like to go for a feminine theme because I really like flowers and hearts. So I want to build something that's cute and floral. So I will firstly search for flower and I'll actually search for a floral background. So I'll just search for a floral background and then I can go into elements and there are a bunch of different elements available which can be used. I'll use these ones over here because they look really nice. I'm just going to take them and expand them to fit the entirety of my page. Once I've done that, I can go ahead, go into text on the left, and then I can choose one of these font combos or even just add my own simple heading text, which is going to be 2024 monthly planner. And then we're going to add this text at the center of our first page. And I'm going to change the color of the text to better fit the pages. Then I'm going to go back into elements and take a simple square shape and I'll place it behind my text like so. Now I will take the color of the shape and convert that into white. Now I'm going to duplicate this page and then delete the text and this. And then we are going to add our table of contents or the first page, which is going to hyperlink to each one of our pages. You can easily just duplicate this 12 to 14 times because I just like to do that at the first go. It makes it easier for me to later on design my pages once you are certain about the design. So if you're uncertain about the design, don't duplicate pages. But if you are, you can just go into the bottom right grid view and easily multi-select and delete or add new pages. Now over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same style. So I'll click on text and I'll add a subheading. And we are going to add all the months. So I'll add January like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it over here. I want six months over here and six over here. 
At the background, I also want to place a simple box so that increases visibility, like so. Now, once I have done that, I'm just going to make sure everything is centered like this. And once this has been done, I'm just going to click on Command or click on Shift, depending on your device. If you're using Windows or iOS, just select your text and then the box behind it. Click on Group over here and then do Command C and Command V a couple of times. You're just going to copy and paste this. And then you're just going to place six over here six like this and then one two three four five and then we're going to add six over here then click on shift on one side of these like this and then click on these three dots and then click on space evenly and click on tidy up then hold shift on the other side and hold these all together and then click on space evenly and then click on tidy up once you do that, you can just place them at the same alignment like so. You can just place these all together to make sure that they are spaced evenly over here like so. So we're just going to make sure everything looks nice and aligned. And you can just, you know, fix your alignments later as well. But once you've done that, you can replace all the months. So Feb, March, April, and then May, so on and so forth. Once you've done that, you're going to go into your next page and start building your planner for the month of January. For that, I like to do a really simple structure where I like to first add a calendar. You can go into elements on the left and you can search for calendar over here. And you can actually go into the photo section and you'll find a calendar over here. You might even find this calendar. So you can search for 2024 or 2025 calendar like this, or you can just add the number of days. So we have this one for January over here and you can insert the dates over here if you want. That is one way to go on about. You can take a default calendar template like this one and crop the month of January like that, like so, and add that as well. So I'm gonna take this one over here where people can write on top of it like this. And then I can do a simple section on the left where it's going to say, goals for the month like this and then i'm going to resize this over here and place that over here then at the bottom i want to add a simple shape like this one where people can write their goals now i would copy pretty much the same page and then i'm going to go into the person that created on this particular calendar and then instead of january i want it to say april january and then march so i'll search for march over here and they probably will have a calendar for march as well because if one person usually posts a calendar in one style they will have it in the next month as well in the same style just like that i have the next month now, because this is a digital planner or journal, I want to hyperlink items. To do that, all I have to do is go into my first page and then I'll click on shift and then I'll click on both the shape and then the text. Then I'll click on these three dots and then I will click on link. Then I will link this into the next page. So this is the second and I'll link this to the third page. Then in the next one, I will link it to the fourth page so it is going to reflect the month that it represents then if i click on share on the top right i can download this as a pdf make sure to download this as a pdf now this is going to be downloaded as a pdf standard and you can then upload this onto etsy but make sure to hyperlink every element to its relevant pages and you can create as many pages as you want with canva so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.